today I want to talk about identifiers and identifier names. Now this is property names and variables. Variables are identifiers and identifier names are the names that you give to the properties inside of an object. So what are the naming rules that we have to follow when creating them? We can use dollar signs, we can use underscore, those are both completely valid property or variable names. We can use any string combination that we want, so any combination of letters. We can use numbers, but only if the number isn't the first character. So we can do ABC1. That's absolutely fine, but we can't do 1ABC. So you can see here I'm getting a warning from my linter that this is not a valid variable name. So this is not a valid identifier. I can combine the underscores with the letters, the dollar signs with the letters, anything like that. We can put numbers inside of there. That's all fine. That's all fine. That's all well and good. We've got all of these different combinations that we can do. Now, all right, so let's create some objects and talk about identifier names. Create an object called obj. There we are. And inside of it, I can use anything that I did up here. Those are all fine. So I can create a property called dollar sign. And we'll give it a value. I'll create another one called underscore. And I can write these with or without quotation marks around them. So I can use the back tick characters. I can use single quotes, double quotes, or just like this. And the reason I can leave it without anything there is that everything that you put here as an identifier name is going to be converted to a string anyway. So internally, these are all going to be treated like strings with one exception. You can use a symbol as a property name. So let's say up here I have a variable, we'll call it uh, abc123 underscore, and we'll give it the value something. Now I want to use something as my property name, so I could write something here, or let's say this is a value that could change or be set before I created this object. So I need to use the variable name down here. In order to do that, I have to put it inside of square brackets. Now, this is a perfectly valid variable name. Inside the square brackets means it's going to be interpreted. The value something is going to come down. And my key here, my identifier name, is actually going to be the string something. Just like that. Now, for a symbol, we do the same sort of thing as this. So I'm going to create one called Steve. Like this. And the I could have used var or const or let. It doesn't really matter which one I'm using. The rules are the same for all of these. So we have a variable called Steve, which is a symbol. To use that down here, I need the square brackets, just like that. So we can use symbols. If we're not using a symbol, then it's a string. Everything is a string. But the one difference between the variables and the identifier names, so the identifiers and the identifier names, the one difference here is I can use numbers. I can use any number I want, like that. The reason I can use a number here and I can't up here is because these, remember, get converted to strings. So internally what we're looking at here is this then one is a string with the, the number one inside of it. This is a string. It's not going to be treated as a number. It's not going to be a numerical index that I access things by. It's still a string value that I'm going to be getting to these uh, properties through. So with or without the quotation marks here, these numbers are still going to be treated as if they were strings. All right. And last thing, we've talked about all the things that we can do for identifiers and identifier names. Let's talk about what we can't do, and that is this list. These are all of the reserved words in different cases that we are not allowed to use as identifiers. So all of these reserved words, 
we're not allowed to use any of those as a variable name. If you've written your script and it's in strict mode, these words can also not be used. If you're writing a JavaScript module, this word cannot be used as well as all of these. And then there are versions one through three of ECMAScript, so the older versions of JavaScript, which also had these reserved as future keywords. And that basically just means all these words, don't use them as variable names. It's just bad practice. It's going to absolutely fail in most cases. There's going to be a few cases where, oh, hey, look, this word works in this script under these conditions. But just don't do it. Don't use the words. You don't need them. You can come up with other words that are more descriptive for your variable and use those as the identifiers instead of that list. All right, so hope that helps you out. Hope that clears up any misconceptions you had about what you can use in which places as an identifier or an identifier name. And as always, thanks for watching.